Hey guys, Enigma Coin Collector here, and I'm here with what is hopefully the start to a new series on my channel. I say hopefully because we're going to try quarters. Now, I've tried quarters a few times. I've gotten a few boxes here and there. I think this is box two or three, maybe four. I haven't really kept track because I've done quarter boxes and I've gotten nothing out of them. Quarters are really hard to hunt. They're one of the most circulated coins in American currency, so a lot of the finds get taken out of circulation pretty quickly. So what are we going to look for? Well, I've got Rob Fine Treasure's new clad coinage variety mat here to help me on my hunt. We've got all the errors and varieties listed here. We're also going to be looking for any silver quarters that would be quarters minted in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. We're looking for 82s and 83s because they're worth a little bit more. We're also looking for proofs, key dates, SLQs, and Liberty Quarters if we could ever find one. But, like I said, I've done this a few times. I've started this video a few times and ended up having to delete them because I don't find anything. Hopefully, in this box that I picked up last week, we have something to hunt. It's 6450. It is circulated. You can see on the bottom. I will try not to make the camera vibrate as I put this down. And let's do a live opening. Lots of glue. Would really like to find a W quarter. I know a lot of people are finding them now. I don't have any in my collection. I do see some 2019 designs. I see some of these, I call them acid washed in my nickel series because I seem to get a lot of these. I'm not sure who's doing them, but seems like in my area I'm getting these weird washed out coins and it appears like they're doing it to quarters as well weird don't see anything on top i'm still working on my quarter book so i have that to work on as well so this might take a while for me but i'll bring you on the first find if i find anything wish me luck hopefully i'll see you soon we're on roll number six and these aren't finds these are just things i've pulled aside to look for for errors and varieties at the end of the hunt we do have three bicentennials and one 2019 design. It's not a W, but I'm bringing you in because we have something that is not a quarter in there. That is probably a foreign of some kind. Cool. 200 pesos. Republica de Colombia. I'm probably butchering that. 2005. So we got our first foreign of the hunt and check out it's got text on the rim. That's really cool. So we've got our first true find of the box. One foreign, 200 pesos. Let's go. We're on roll 21. We've got a silver looking coin via the edge. Almost was an ender. Let's find out if we've got silver together. If I can get it out. Is not a silver quarter. It is a foreign. Canadian 2006. So we've got our second foreign of the box. Let's keep hunting. Roll 24, and I finally found one. I already flipped it over, so I know. But we have a 2019 River of No Return. W. A W in the box, guys. Our first real find, and it's on the board. I'm psyched. That's my first W I've ever found coin roll hunting. Oh, the rush. Let's see if we can get some more. Guys, I can't believe it. We are on roll number 47. I peeled back the roll, and I saw a really disfigured quarter. And I thought, that's kind of odd. And then I saw the edge. And that looks like a really mangled. It is. I heard this sound. A 1964 silver quarter in the box. My first ever silver quarter found coin roll hunting. We've got our first W for silver. Wow. Now that is in rough shape. I mean... Wow, someone really did a number on that. But it's still silver. Wow, 1964.
four. Silver quarter in the box. Wow. It's a shame that it's got that much damage. Looks like it was crimped or something. I'll take it either way. It's silver. That is awesome. Box is empty, so now it's time to go through and check for all the errors and varieties. And I'm still coming down off of that silver quarter we found. That is too awesome. Um, now, some of these I looked for while we were hunting, specifically the 2004 Wisconsin High Low Leaf, because that's pretty visible to the naked eye. But all of these, I'm going to look under the scope. Uh, the Bicentennial as well. Uh, the Kansas Rust Air and the Minnesotas because they are a little tricky to see with the naked eye and I want to see them on the microscope. So let me go ahead and check those out. I also have the 2019 designs that we did get. I'll sort them out to see which ones we have. We got one lonely 2020 bat quarter. Not a W though, but that's all right. And then we got that one W quarter back there in the corner. So let me go ahead and search through all these and I'll be right back at you with the wrap up. I found some interesting finds in the airs and variety search, so let me show you. I found this one, which is the Kansas State Quarter in Godly Rust Air. You can see the T is still a little visible, not the best example, but still one of those air and variety coins. And I found another one, which is a much better example. The T is a little bit more gone. It's pretty much all the way gone. So we've got two in Godly Rust Air Kansas State Quarters. I also found this... Alaska, and I believe that's an extra claw right there. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is that an extra claw in the 2006 Alaska State Quarter or not? I think it is. Either way, all of these coins are worth about five to ten dollars a piece. So small fines, but fines nonetheless. I thought those were pretty cool. That's what I found in the air and varieties. Let me bring it back to the score sheet and to the recap of the hunt. And here we are at the recap, and that was an awesome box. This is definitely going to become a video because we got 41 points on this box. Overall, we had three errors and varieties. We had the one 1960 silver quarter, one W mint quarter, and two foreigns for 41 points, and that is awesome. Let me show you the finds. We had 16 bicentennial quarters. None of them are... The DDOs, we looked for them, but that's okay. We had the two Kansas State in Godly Rust errors. We had the one Alaska Extra Claw error quarter. Well, let me know what you think about that one. That one could be iffy, but I'm going to count it for now. We also had the two foreigns, the 2006 Canadian, and the 2005 Columbia 200 pesos. The stars of the show that... 2019 W, River of No Return, quarter. My first W in a box and my first silver in a box. I cannot believe it. 1964, it is chewed up. It is not pretty, but it counts. Also wanted to show you what we found with 2019 and 2020. We had five Lowell's, eight Warren Pacific's, eight AMPs, nine River of No Returns, one San Antonio Missions, and one Lonely Design from 2020, a Bat Quarter. Freaks me out, man. Overall, I have absolutely nothing to complain about. That was an awesome box. My first few boxes of quarters I didn't even show on this channel because they were duds, but this box was awesome. It makes you want to go ahead and hunt another box. So if you're trying to hunt quarters, keep on pushing through those lame boxes. Eventually, you will have a payout like this, I promise. If you like this video and want to see more like it, click subscribe to get notifications whenever I post new videos. I would appreciate a thumbs up, and if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And remember, it's always a mystery until you crack open those rolls and you find what is inside. Thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next video.